What's up guys, Tim Little, welcome back to Tactical Bass. And today we are heading subsurface again to show you guys some epic underwater footage. This time it's some smallmouth. Uh, you guys out here on the West Coast, you know, it's been feeling like springtime, so we're getting ready to gear up for, uh, for the spawn. Uh, you guys back east, I know you guys are still buried with snow and ice, but it's a little bit of light at the end of the tunnel. So hope you guys enjoy this video. Let's head underwater. Another beautiful smallmouth. That one ate the drop shot. And we're blessed just to catch fish like this. And here we are trying not to set the hook so we can get underwater footage. It's crazy, but seeing that underwater perspective is amazing. You can watch, you can learn so much watching those fish how they position, how they interact with the bait, how sometimes they suck it all the way in, other times they don't. There's just so much that you can learn getting that other angle. So that's why we're willing to sit here and let beautiful fish like that eat the bait and spit it out and not catch them. But I uh, hope you guys are enjoying this as much as we are.
We hope you guys enjoyed that footage as much as we enjoyed going out and capturing it. We know it's winter time. It's early. In the west, guys are thinking about the spawn, but it's not happening. Now, down south, there are a few guys actually sight fishing already, but most of you, you know, you're under snow, you're under ice, but let's face it, that's the time of year that you want to be daydreaming about the stuff that's coming anyway. So we hope you enjoyed going underwater. You know, we don't always finesse fish. A lot of the stuff we do on this channel is focused around power fishing, and swim baits, and top water, but it, it's a huge part of bass fishing to get down there with a tube or a worm, some of those true finesse baits, especially with smallmouth and spotted bass, and learn how those fish interact with those baits as well. Because we all know when you're on a hot smallmouth bite and those fish start buckling down or getting on the beds, that nothing is gonna beat that spinning rod and that light line. So it's good to see how those fish react with the bait. We hope you enjoyed it. All the baits that we use, the gear we use, links will be down in the video description. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, We'll talk to you soon.